Right everyone, this is gonna blow you away. We're gonna show you how the body really works and your arms will follow this movement and so will the golf club. Now, if every great player is doing this, then where are you? I mean, we have to follow the facts, the evidence-based instruction, this helps us improve faster and reach our potential. And uh, keep it really simple. We're looking at the shoulder plane at the top. We're gonna draw it down. It's gonna point one yard outside the ball. Now that yard, is 41 degrees. Have a look at this. Remember that number. Now, we can be technical without being mechanical. All right, it's an important thing to notice. Now, when he's halfway through, and the arms are halfway through, we can see that he's halved that yard. It's half a yard, and that number is, look at the number if you can see it above the shoulder, 55 degrees. Now, the reason I'm showing you these positions is because it is absolutely mind blowing how close top players are to these positions. And uh, we'll just go quickly through a couple of swings here. McElroy at the top of the swing, drawing a line down. What a ball striker. This guy is 40 degrees halfway through when the arms are halfway through, 55 degrees. Now we're gonna have a look at why they halve this. This is something that's important to understand. It has a really great chain reaction, a positive motion on the rest of your swing. Now let's have a look at uh, Adam Scott, many say the best swing in world golf, 42 degrees halfway through, and I'm not kidding, look at that, 55. So like male or female, it, it just doesn't matter. Like nearly quarter, one of the best swings in world golf. How good is this golf swing? Have a look at this, 41 degrees on the way back, 55 halfway through. And I just wish I hadn't known about this earlier on, many years ago, because there's so many people, and so many of us out there just wasting our time. We have well over 95% of golfers that never reach their potential. And it's just such a shame. This is the engine room, right? It just, this sets off the chain. This is how you swing good, right? This is the golf swing. This is, have a look at Sam Steen here, one of the best ball strikers of all time. I'll draw a line down here. Have a look at that, 40 degrees at the top, 55 halfway through. I mean, it's, it's incredible, isn't it? This movement here is the one thing, the true thing that stays constant in the golf swing. So a lot of people say, look, it doesn't matter how you swing, have a look at Jim Fury, have a look at this guy, but what they're missing, you know, it doesn't matter whether the hands are high, low, the lead wrist is bowed or cut, but what they're missing is the engine room because they don't all swing different, right? If you don't do this, you won't hit it good. You'll never hit it good. 42 degrees of Jim Fury on the way back at the top of the swing, 55 on the way through. He's right inside the corridors. What are your numbers? It's just such a shame that amateurs don't notice these positions and work on the complete incorrect things in their swing, never reaching their potential. You're never going to hit it good from positions like this. It, it just won't happen. And the chain reaction, the negative chain reaction, they, look, there's just too many things to mention. So let's have a look at some of the best drills that we can do to get our bodies moving like top players. And also, let's have a look at how we can draw these lines with these angles. So guys, right, today I want to talk to you about Live View Golf. You can draw your lines with angles. I've been showing a lot of people on YouTube the 40 degree shoulder rule, the PGA averages of movement, 55 degrees through the ball, 12 degrees of shaft lean, and you can get in there and get closer to these proven averages of movement. And the closer you get, the better you hit. We know that these days every top player is filming their swings, right? And video really is the best feedback for your golf swing. This thing here is absolutely mind-blowing. Really, you, you can see yourself simultaneously as you're making movements. It works off sound, so you hit a shot, played back automatically. You don't have to touch the screen. Hooks up to your iPad and your iPhone, and you can look down at it and stay in posture. Like, you can even put the camera or the live view back here, draw a line on your belt buckle to see where that is. Have a look at your takeaway. Rather than looking in mirrors and trying to get this, this is the best way to train. Guys, it's an absolute no-brainer. And uh, I highly recommend if you're a dedicated golfer, guys, there's a discount code in the link below. Absolutely incredible training aid. So people are right, why are we seeing these great ball strikers, some of the best ever, past and present, halve or steepen this shoulder plane through the golf ball. It's a very interesting area. I think the important message here to get across to everyone is that the amount of tilt and turn, the combination of tilt and turn, it needs to be appropriate. Now let's have a look at this. Now, when we're seeing these great players steepen the shoulder plane through the ball, what we're seeing is the lead side extend, the right side shorten, and this lead shoulder, it acts as a wall. It prevents the top half from moving forwards when the shoulders get too level. So that they can transfer their weight, getting across, closing up this gap, 
getting four to six inches of lateral shift, but getting this to extend. So you're getting yourself there really inside the PGA averages of movement. Now, let's have a look at this. When we have too much tilt and not enough turn, often we're seeing players with the low point of their swing, the middle spot of their swing, too far behind the ball, fat shots and thin shots, and you'll see most players then coming a little bit too far from the inside. When we're seeing players with too much turn and not enough tilt, the top half moves forwards, and for most players, you'll see the arms moving out, and from here, really the angle of attack, you're hitting the wrong side of the ball, and that's a nasty area in the swing. So what we're going to be looking at coming up is getting inside these averages of movement, these proven PGA averages of movement, the closer you get to these positions, guys, seriously, the better you will hit the golf ball, and the further you are away from, them, away from these positions, most times the worst we're going to hit the golf ball. So let's now move through some incredible drills and exercises. And this is why we put World Class Golf Instruction, worldclassgolf.com together to help people really understand the true facts of the golf swing and working with a purpose, working with a plan. This is how you do really improve. Let's now move on to some fantastic exercises and drills. Stay to the end. There's an absolute a cracker of an exercise at the end of this video. So guys, right, getting the shoulder in the right position. I'm gonna show you how to practice it and uh, keep it simple here. So get your reps in. I mean, you gotta get your reps in, right? You gotta hit a lot of golf balls. Otherwise, you know, there's no magic wand and jumping from YouTube video to YouTube video can be quite confusing at times. Worldclassgolf.com, evidence-based instruction. Now, guys, have a look at this. We gotta, if you imagine if you had lipstick on, you don't want any lipstick right, on your shirt. All right, so when you get to the top, you feel like that, it's just touching your chin and it's not covering your mouth. High left shoulder, high right hip here coming down. We're in all sorts of trouble. So here's how you practice it, all right? Take your address position, get three swings. One, two, extend that right leg back. Three, all right, and then give it a hit. One, two, three, hit. One, two, three, hit. So guys, right, how are we? <laughs> Looking around the corner, getting closer to the 55 degree PGA average here. This is a really great picture. I got this off Alex Elliott in the internet. He did a great video and it really stays in my head. And what it was, was he was talking about opening up a window, getting your upper body out the window looking around the corner and reaching to give someone something or reaching out. Now what it does is it gives you this high left peck. It almost feels like you could have, or imagine that you have water dripping out from your ear. The reason I like it is it's transferable straight away to the golf course. So you can think that and hit and it doesn't, it's not disruptive. And this is always a great thing when we have a swing thought that helps us because naturally when we turn, for a lot of people we turn level and we don't turn high keeping the right side of your face down, left side here up, and you can really hit it harder. And some of the tests that Dr. Neil and I have done in world-class golf instruction, picking up speed and distance, especially for a lot of the senior golfers, is turning high. The tendency when we hit it hard is to turn level. And this really helps us to be able to plow through the ball and it can take left, the left side out of the golf course. Guys, let's have a look at some feels now and some drills and the ways that we can get ourselves closer to these PGA averages of movement. So guys, let's have a look at this drill here. This is a basic one that supplies some awesome body awareness. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna tilt left, turn right, tilt right, turn left. Now you can do this without a golf club first. You just tilt to the left, turn to the right, tilt to the right, turn to the left. And this is gonna get you in a great position. One of the things I also like to do with a lot of people I teach is get them to the top and we shift, tilt, turn, okay? Get up to the top, shift, tilt, turn. And this is giving you a bit of a feeling of what the body shift and tilt and turn. And then you can sort of get it to blend into the position that you're after. World Class Golf Instruction is improving golfers between 4 and 11 shots. 
Your swing analyst video is the same as this YouTube format, except with your swing on the screen. It goes between 15 to 30 minutes with tailored drills and exercises, a higher level of instruction at a cheaper price. 1,300 videos, 75 separate series. Reach out to us in the chat room and get on the path of playing your best golf. So, Pepper, one of the great moves in the golf swing that uh, really helps us get the correct tilts and turn, the lowering of the right side, the shortening of the right side, the extension of the left side. Have a look at this head tilt from McElroy. Now, this is something I want you to practice here. We're going to get this right side to lower. See how that right eye is lower than the left, the right ear lower than the left. This is the way to create tilt and turn. This is, people, and I want you to try this, one of the magic moves in the goal swing. And yes, you can do it with iron shots as well. Let's get in there now and have a look how we can create this amazing move that assists us with great tilt and great turn. When we get to the top of the swing, and we just simply lower the right eye. So what it does, what it promotes, is the lowering of the right shoulder down to the right hip. But because the head's turning, it really promotes that the upper body is turning and out of the way. Now, what you can do, or what you can feel when you get to the top, what you probably feel when you do it, is you'll feel that the club almost lays back a little bit on itself, and you'll feel some pressure on your index finger on this base knuckle. Now, it's so hard to hit it left from here. How good is it? How good is it in golf to plow through a shot and not hit a left? So people, right, moving through the golf ball and getting this right hip to move down, under and forwards. Now, this right hip, right, at PGA average, you're looking around about at impact, getting this thing seven to eight centimetres lower. But you're going to be closing up your gap between your thighs, between your knees. This is going to give you a lateral shift but we're getting this movement of right hand, right knee, left hand, left hip, and we're getting ourselves under but forwards. It's a little tricky, but it's the way the swing works. Now, I love this drill here to great, some great feels. You can do it out on the golf course, you can do it anywhere, because it sort of just gives you that feeling of where we need to be. Now, you take your setup, lift up your left hand so that the palm is, so you're sort of in your posture, you know what I mean? You want to be so in your posture, lift up the left hand and you just get this feeling of this right hand moving underneath and you'll get a feeling of, it just lifts up the left shoulder, the shoulder acts as a wall and you can get a feeling of, you know, looking at the shoulder, a feeling where it is, closing up the gap with your knees here and you're getting this right side sort of underneath you and it's sometimes just a great thing to do, just a couple of practice swings and it helps us move forwards. When this is up, when this stays up, yeah. You, for advanced players, you pull it left, you block it out to the right. For you know less, perhaps, skilled players, they're coming well over the top of the golf ball. So what a great feel this is of a two-in-one, closing up the gap, getting extension, getting ourselves to move laterally. One of the best drills, basic, but one of the best drills there really is to create some fantastic body awareness through the golf ball. This thing here is absolutely mind-blowing, really. You, you can see yourself simultaneously as you're making movements. It works off sound, so you hit a shot, played back automatically. You don't have to touch the screen, hooks up to your iPad and your iPhone, and you can look down at it and stay in posture. Like, you can even put the camera or the live view back here, draw a line on your belt buckle to see where that is, have a look at your takeaway. Rather than looking in mirrors and trying to get this, this is the best way to train. Guys, it's an absolute no-brainer, and uh, I highly recommend if you're a dedicated golfer, guys, there's a discount code in the link below. Absolutely incredible training aid. So people, why are we seeing the world's best ball strikers steepen or halve this shoulder plane through the golf ball? One of the important messages to get through to everyone here is the combination of tilt and turn needs to be appropriate. What do I mean by that? Well, if we have too much tilt and not enough turn, most likely the club's coming too far from the inside. The middle point of your swing's too far behind the ball. We can hit some fat shots and thin shots, and it starts to look something like this. Now, the other side of the scale is too much turn and not enough tilt. And we see a lot of golfers in this position with their head moving forwards, and generally speaking for most players, the arms will then come out and they're really hitting the wrong side of the golf ball and not having the best entry. We need to get this combination of tilts and turns correct. Closer, the closer you get to this 40 degree angle,